And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for part two of our Poros Give It All uh, seasonal tournament practice. Uh, so far, so good. We've played five games, gone four and one, and uh, played against a good variety of decks. That's what we're going to continue to do. Let's keep practicing with it and um, you know, see how, how we do against different things. Um, but yeah, we are Poros are for real, and we are going to be playing Poros on Sunday. Um, if, if you didn't know, my other decks, we're going to be playing Tarek Draven, which is what we played all of yesterday for our seasonal tournament practice. And then we're also going to be playing Midrange Frostbite, which is the deck we're going to be playing tomorrow all day. But today is Poro's Day. So let's go back to Ranked and let's play five more games. Let's see uh, how we do. Okay, I don't like playing against this kind of deck. Aurelian Soul, Leona. They got Demacia for single combat, most likely. I don't actually have any Poros in hand, but I want—I kind of want to keep all this. I mean, I could just keep the Porealis, and that's going to make some Poros for me. <clears throat> we'll see. They—they they could have an aggressive hand. If they do, I'm going to have kind of nothing. All right, never mind. We got stuff. We got stuff going on. I don't want them to be able to open attack with the Mountain Goat. Here's some. Eh. Might as well play you. Hmm. <laughs> sure. No cascade drawing no cards. All right, we'll be going with another Poro Snacks. <clears throat> I'm a little worried about a hush eating a daring poro. A little worried about a hush eating a daring poro. So I'm saving the poro snacks because they could like hush and then block, and then I poro snacks after hush. That's what I was thinking. All right, they're not <clears throat> not really playing hush. So let's just play this, get the two extra damage in. Oh, uh, so... No, because cause Hush, Hush does put it down to a 1-1 one, one instead of being a 3-3. A, a three, three. No, oh, that thing's scary. Yeah, that thing's scary. Brom or Vi? Let us get going. Oh, Harvey. Yeah, Mystic Shot would be a good draw. Vi stands for vicious. Oh, that's a good call, Tumble Dog. I didn't really notice that either. Tumble Dog said, I just realized that Jinx stands for Jinx is making fun of Vi. Yeah, I didn't really think too much of that either. But yeah, how Vi's always like, Vi stands for vicious or whatever. And so Jinx is like, well, Jinx stands for Jinx. <laughs> yeah, that's that's pretty cool. I didn't even think about that. Scared? I don't blame you. My shield is my good luck. Uh, yeah, this is definitely going to be a deck that I'm going to be in. These Targon decks are so good. It is easy, see? The Hush is so nasty. Follow 
along, little one. My friend, you are lucky, man. They'll be able to kill the Brom for free with the warrior. So I either waste three mana and pass, or I don't waste the mana, play Aurora Porealis, but then they get to uh, kill my Braum. I think I let them kill Braum. Having these give it alls in hand and everything, and just how much mana all this stuff costs, I don't think I can waste the three mana. All right, they also get that attack in. That was an expensive three mana, I just... Got. That was an expensive three mana. After this one. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what they're playing around. Yeah, maybe Fury of the North. I'm not sure. I didn't need you at work today, Nashor. Well, you can hang out today on stream then. <laughs> Vi stands for violins. Vi stands for vinegar. Yeah, we got some well-fed poros. We got some well-fed poros. Not be able to level up early in soul anymore by doing this. What if I, Stay out there. I don't think I've been, you know, think about like whether or not we play give it all right here. I don't think that we can. So give it all would just give me. Uh, 15 power of elusives. I think we have to try to do better than that. We will not suffer unbelief. We will not escape punishment. Punishment. From the forger of stars. That's interesting. Well, that's too bad. All right, GGs. Yeah, I was play. I was gonna be casting the give it all after playing that scout. That was definitely my plan. So Sejuani Trindamir. We can try this. Is this going to be an avalanche deck? I guess I didn't really consider that before, but maybe it is. Now, where did that one run off to? Maybe this is an avalanche deck. <laughs> Trust me, they add up. I love drawing the other Poro snacks, that's great. So yeah, like they're playing Trindamir and everything. This could definitely be an avalanche deck. What are you, tough? Let us get going. Yetis versus Poros. The 
the uh, Battle of Freljord. Elusive. Battle of Freljord. Sure, what's the point of that? Just to save two life? It is easy. See? Control chant just to save two life? I mean, I guess so. Carved from the savage cold. Just kind of need more spots. Cool, I was expecting like another troll chant or something, but I guess now we get to, you know, I was gonna do that to Mystic Shot the Trapper, but they didn't have any kind of removal. I was expecting something like Frostbite, something, but now we can just try this out. Cool. Well, that was easier than expected. Alright, Fiora Shen. Fiora Shen is an awesome deck. So this will be a really good test. It's good practice here. I think this is a matchup where uh, finding Poro snacks will be important. I don't really like the little Poros that Fiora can kill real easily. I don't really want them right away. Keep the energetic beam. Don't need to use it right there. Like how this hand's shaping up, though. River shape the land and give it life. So they can't have sharp sight, but hopefully they don't. Awesome. Love killing that thing. Alright, so this has worked out. So far for us, this has worked out good. Two worlds, one balance. As it had to be. Perfect. It worked out. Alright, Brom, get going. They may be considering holding up Repost. Water changes but never breaks. Don't be sad, my friend. I don't I don't want Brom to die to Repost. Yeah, that's what it definitely looks like a Repost. Okay, well, no Repost. So. They could have the plus two card, I guess. This is fun, yes? Sharp sight, they have it shown to have sharp sight yet, but I guess it's just not worth the risk for only you know making Braum 3 out of 10 instead of 2 out of 10. Could have been playing playing closer attention to like if they would have top decked or not, it or not, but it's like like that was the card they just drew. I'm a little nervous about passing and then they pass also, and I just waste 3 spell mana. 
Okay, yeah, so this this card was into River Shaper. I know it wasn't the Bright Steel Protector. So this could possibly be Sharp Side as the card that drew last turn. Duty, selflessness, heavy burdens. I sense an imbalance. Honor guide me. So I think I'm gonna play the troll chant to keep them from drawing a, a spell. Right, like as is, they're gonna draw a spell. So that I can just play the troll chant to counter that spell and also keep my jubilant Poro alive. It kinkles, yeah, things are going good. You are safe. We are getting ready for the seasonal tournament. Uh that's gonna be next Sunday. So I think I'll go on Poro Snacks and then Beam for 5 on the Shen. Then they probably repost. Uh, left for a snack? Oh, this one drink is milk. I'm going to play that. Let's see what they do. Soldier, to me. Okay, well, they're not going to repost. And kill Shen more important than kill River Shaper? I don't know. I may just kill the River Shaper, actually, to keep them from drawing the spells to be able to help get back in this. Y'all think that... Kill Shen? I'm going to see if I, I regret this, but I'm going to try to kill... I think I'm going to kill River Shaper. I don't want them to draw more spells. We'll see how much I regret that. Sacrifice one mighty Poro for 10 damage. Sure. Stand for what's right. They're going to have, like, the Shen is going to give the Scythria barrier. Cool, good draw. I don't know. What are you made of? You're not alone. Brom is here. So the biggest problem here is now I don't get to block with Brom. Got to be. In the <clears throat> equilibrium. There they go. They figured it out. I had to block two things. I guess it still means I die to repost if I do this block. And yeah, double Scythria was pretty strong. Yeah, I could definitely see Deny being one of their cards, how they're not playing stuff, like maybe Deny and then, um, yeah, maybe a barrier card or... Stand for what's right. Definitely see Deny being one. Fiora's Repose. They are under my protection. <laughs> I'm not going to heal my Nexus. I should still put them to zero. Concerted strike. Oh. <laughs> I 
Alright, so the good news is they're out of cars. The bad news... I'm probably dead. Yeah, probably dead. Alright, GG's. Next time, we will do better. And, the, and uh, like, they had the barrier card in hand, they could have st still saved their Cythria. So I, I don't think that I would have, if I would have thrown a Junkie in the Shen, I don't think I still would have won. Because they would have drawn an extra spell with River Shaper and everything. I don't I don't think I would have won. But you never know. I mean, I, I can't say that for sure. So this is a Field of Rush deck. Orialis is good, but do I keep two of them? It may be too slow against Feel the Rush. Having two of them. Elusive. That's what I'm looking for. Yeah, like, at the, at the time, I didn't know there was going to be a second Cythria whenever I made that decision. The second Cythria really hurt. Well, Fearsome's not the best keyword. I think I need to just get the other one in play also. Okay, that keeps him off of 8 mana, which, as we know, 8 mana is a key number. Bow to no one. Mm. One girl wrecking crew. Bristle, attack. Sejuani's good. So I attack, I, I trade Vi for Sejuani and do 5 damage to them. Or what? Or I play like Elusive, they play Trindomir. Yeah, let's play a couple more things. Is it the mustache? Who knows? I'll rip that mustache off and wear it. Warm hearts and hot suits. Still have harsh winds. Hot shit. Good luck. If they didn't play this other Conley Tavern Keeper, I would have had my Braum challenge the Sejuani. And, um, and then, you know, like, attack them for lethal. That's what I would have done. <laughs> it's a little mini buy. Tough challenger, a little mini buy. So they have 25. I don't know why they would pass, but I can't. I can't risk it them passing. So they have 25 power of overwhelm. So that's five. And we block with. Yeah, their, their hand was really, really good. 
Ramp on three, double ramp on four, Sejuani on five. Uh, good defense on six with the the flash freeze and and kindly tower keeper and then turn seven feel the rush I think that's the best it gets. I don't think their deck does any better And not enough elusives for me Not enough elusives Doesn't look good ah. I need elusives I don't really know how I'm supposed to survive this right now. Yeah. All right, five and four. That was as good as feel the rush can it be. Okay, it looks like another feel the rush deck. All right, cool. We have give it all. Is this true? Has it been five games where we've cast give it all and we're five and zero in those games, and four games where we have not cast give it all and we're zero and four in those games? That sounds right. Does anybody remember any game that we cast give it all and we lost, or that we didn't cast give it all and we won? We had one win with Mystic Shot where we didn't play give it all. That win against Lee Lee Sin Zed. That win with a mystic shot. That mystic shot win. Did did we cast give it all that game though? I don't remember. So this is just one card, of course, because the lonely portal makes the other one. So I'm not really uh, av like avalanche. I'm not really. Overextending into Avalanche. We've only put one card out there. Patience. Hot on the trail. Yeah, I definitely like the spell shield. There's a uh, chance I'm discarding Give It All to the Poro Cannon. have another avalanche then you know ggs <laughs> of course they get the yeti the very first turn must be nice i don't think i'm spoiling anything by discarding that give it all Hey, German Potato, welcome back. Uh, I did have the second Avalanche. Probably game. So, one and four. I, you know, I don't want Vi to challenge this Enrage Yeti. So, one and four. This video. We need Aurora Porealis as our best draw. Uh, I thought that was Aurora Porealis. Here comes the punchline! Yeah, double avalanche really hurt us in a game yesterday, too. Avalanche was going to hurt. The second avalanche is just game winning. Well, we need Aurora Porealis. It's the only card that could possibly help us. 
yeah, like this this is the kind of deck, like this kind of deck and the Targon deck, these are the decks that I'm banning. Whoa, we got a raid from Annie Desu. But yeah, these these decks with all these sweepers and stuff, I'm I'm banning these kind of decks on Sunday. So worst case scenario is somebody plays like the Targon deck and a Freljord Shadow Isles deck like this. That's the worst case scenario. Trigger only ban one. But these Shadow Isles Freljord control decks, I have not won against any of them yet with either Tarek Draven or Poros Give It All. Fury. Doesn't really. It's not a great keyword. Aurora Porealis, where are you? Thanks. Yeah, so um, everybody just join in. We are um, getting some practice for the seasonal tournament. My lineup is going to be. That's what I will be rolling out. My blade grows restless. Alright, that's gonna kill us. Alright, so five and five. So we went one or four and one in our first video. Five and five in the second. So far it's kind of been all about the give it all, right? Like every every time we've been casting give it all, we have won. Every time that we haven't, we have lost. Um that that game of course is Avalanche, Avalanche, and like that's again, like that's kind of two two hands in a row against a Feel the Rush deck where two games in a row where they just have um you know really just perfect stuff going on you know so they played Avros and trapper on turn three turn four avalanche which was a killer uh plus then one mana five five right afterwards uh turn five i extend again another avalanche and then um you know then they play trundle or no so sorry then turn six they play um ruination right so three turns in a row they went a turn four avalanche turn five avalanche plus a five five you extend some more turn six ruination and then trundle on seven turn eight trindamir so that's pretty pretty key you know it's pretty clutch like just avalanche avalanche ruination trundle trindamir you're dead um you know similar with the um with the game before that game before that it was turn three ramp turn four the double ramp card turn five sejuani kill your big elusive and uh turn six um you know the frostbite my big vi to keep their sejuani alive and a kindly tavern keeper and then turn seven feel the rush and put two ten ten overwhelms into play so like it so ran into two decks that really don't curve out any better and so got a couple of losses there besides that the shen fiora deck that was a close one for sure maybe i could have won it if i would have killed shen instead of river shaper that was definitely a really close one didn't end up going our way and uh then the targon deck that also had a, a really awesome hand yeah that man that targon deck that was really impressive with how they had the five mana um challenger celestial and everything and then um they curved out perfectly again a turn eight aurelian soul that one was you know turn eight aurelian soul into turn nine skies of darkness so we've not gotten the the most luck we've had three opponents three of those losses were opponents with ridiculous hands so i don't mind it too much i'm still confident in our deck so we're gonna get back at it we're going to um uh, yeah, we're going to get back at it and play five more games with Poros Give It All right after this. All right, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, feel free to leave those comments as well. I'd appreciate that. But thanks for watching some Poros Give It All, and I'll see you for the next video.